All right, we are going to bring to you every single drink on the menu for Royal Caribbean. So these are the standard menus that you can get at just about any bar on the ship, on any ship on the fleet. And we're going to try every single one for you and let you know how they are. We're going to split them up, half for Brandy, half for me. Let's get started. I got a passion spritz, so it's just, uh, I got a Czech vodka, passion fruit, lemon juice, and sparkling wine. Very passion fruity. It's very tart. This here is a Cozumel Sunrise. It's got gold tequila, mango, lime, and uh, grenadine. So, it looks very, beautiful. Very tropical. Ooh. So tequila with lime tells you margarita. I think the mango gives it that little tropical feel. So I actually kind of like this. I want to try it. Yeah. It, it's weird. I don't think you're going to like it because it feels like it's margarita-ish. Yeah. No, it tastes like a margarita. Yeah. Which I don't like. Sorry. All right, this is the Goombe Smash. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Got a couple rums and orange and pineapple juice. I don't know if I'll get it again, but uh, it isn't bad. Caribbean Mule finally got the uh, ginger beer. What's in it? I forgot. It's the uh, right there. Bon oh, Caribbean meal. Coconut, lime, and gingerbread. A planter's punch, and it is not my favorite. I do not like this Myers dark rum. I really prefer like a coconut rum, a fruity rum, and I this is just not my. What else is in it? Uh, I also juice, orange juice, lime juice, and grenadine, so it should it be yeah. fruity and light, but it's heavy, and it is like you get about right here, and you can smell the liquor. Ooh. Delicious painkiller, my favorite drink from the other cruise company. It's much better than Brandy's drink that she just had. But it's yeah. got coconut syrup in it. That's what's giving mine a little bit sweeter taste than yours. Mm -hmm. I will get this again on many more days here on this cruise. The pineapple guava sangria. It's a passion fruit syrup, pinot grigio. I think it's got some lime juice, some uh, tropical juices. Give it a try. It's a little, little fruity, but we're going to try it. Oh man, that is good. Like I said, looks dainty, but it is delicious. Brandon's gonna be jealous. I had to go to the other bar while she's swimming in the pool to go try it. She's gonna be jealous. This is the Kentucky Summer, and it's very delicious. We got Buffalo Trace bourbon, Saint Germain elderflower liqueur, mango, lime juice. It's it's great evening drink. I will probably get this again later on on the strip. I really, really like it. I think we argued whether who was going to have this on our it's list. On your list but ah. I, it's good. It's like dessert in a cup. 
I can all, I can have a lot of them. It's very sweet, but it, it's very dessert. The mint's very subtle, which I would like. Shame on you for stealing it from me. It's, it's good. It's like dessert, but refreshing mint aftertaste. All right, so I got the time for gin. I lost my napkins. It's that time of night. You lose your napkins. It is more of a brandy drink. Yeah, I like it. Gin. She likes everything else that this drink is made with. I think she would like this if she had to have a gin drink. I wouldn't get it again. But I can see it right for the right person. Would you get it again, Scale? I mean, if you like to, yeah. What time of day would you get it again, Scale? Morning, afternoon, like 11, 12 ish. Are you going to finish it, Scale? Papa Jack, it's just Bacardi, passion fruit, and lime. It's really refreshing, actually. It's good, it's just light. Perfect after a port day? Yeah, fruity, light. But before dinner? Easy to drink bath before dinner. <laughs> I stole the rum punch from Brandy's list, and I'm very, very glad I did. It is very, very delicious. It's probably better than any other rum punch I have normally get. Reason being is, normally it's really fruity, you know, your rum punches that you get in the Caribbean. And this one is more rummy and just more caramel and sweet kind of flavor. Not so much on the fruity side. And they left a little floater on top as well. So very happy with this choice. Again, I would get this again, definitely. Uh, if you're out and about and it's hot, full time drink for sure. Okay, I have a carousel cough mode, and it is, it's really refreshing. It's really easy to drink. It's dangerous. Like, I took a couple of steps, I'm halfway done. So be careful if you get these. Pretty and pink. You can get it at any bar, of course, but we're here at the Champagne Bar and uh, they make them really good here. Franny had already had a few of these another night or one of these another night and it was on my list. Um, but it's just uh, Beef Eater Pink Gin, which I believe is strawberry gin, uh, pineapple juice, lime, and guava syrup. And all of those flavors combined together to taste tropical, to taste sweet and I love both those things, so definitely a great drink. Reminds me of something you would get from the other cruise line, not to be named, uh, at their alchemy bar. Very good drink. All right, this is the roll and ride. Just got it from the champagne bar. Took it up here to dinner. Very delicious drink. The, the rye whiskey and Aperol and I think it's got simple syrup, sweet, doesn't have the strong taste of the, the rye whiskey in it. And again, this is a great drink as well if you're just kind of wanting to ease your way into um, like a bourbon drink. I have the cool as a cucumber, so I've got gin, elderflower liqueur, St. Saint Germain's elderflower liqueur, simple syrup, club soda, and muddled cucumber, and a little splash of lemon juice. And it is so crisp and refreshing. It's light. If you don't like herby or cucumber type of drinks, this is a good one for you. It's very subtle and just easy to drink, refreshing. It's kind of like a full drink. Yeah, I tasted Brandy's drink because uh, I got it from the bar, and I hate cucumber. I'm not a fan of cucumber. And it was delicious. But I want another sip just so I can taste it again after she just went off all the ingredients. I 
you have the Scarlet's Tropical Sangria. It's made with the Pinot Noir with tropical fruit. It's got that good punchiness to it. It's pretty good. Lance likes the white sangria. I kind of prefer the red sangria, but I do like Pinot Noir. It leaves that like punch flavor after your sip. The handcrafted margarita here on the Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas. The bottle, the lemon, the wine, and I didn't catch which uh, tequila they uh, they made it with here, but uh, you'll see it here on the bottom of the screen. I kind of wish you would have salted the rim. I maybe should have asked for that. It's a good tasting margarita. It doesn't taste all that strong, and maybe it's because you're getting a lot of the other flavors. Margaritas are very hit and miss. Everyone makes them a little bit different. I recommend you asking for your, your preference of margarita than going with the hand powder. But I'll finish it. I got the strawberry blonde. It's just Cheetos, vodka, uh, strawberry mint, and Saint Germain. And that elderflower flavor is pretty potent in this. I wasn't expecting as much of that, it's a little more strawberry. It's still tasty, but definitely maybe a little too heavy handed on the Saint Germain. So does that make it too sweet? No, it, it leaves a very floral aftertaste. It's good, but I wasn't expecting so much of that flavor and more strawberry flavor. We call it strawberry one, but it's good. I just tried it. It tastes like you're drinking cheap Bath and Body Works perfume made for a preteen kid that's like overly fruity and flowery and it's like you're drinking that. Last drink of our tour of the Royal Caribbean cocktails and beverages on their main menu that are on every single bar, every single ship. And this is the Mezcal Mule. I'm not a fan of mezcal usually in uh, my drinks, especially margaritas. A lot of times they're also added in with a lot of other spicy things for the, the nature of it being a smoky flavored uh, liqueur. However, this one, mixing it with the ginger beer, very, very subtle. I actually really enjoyed this. This is a great drink to probably toss in with a Mexican dish or something like that. If you want to spice up the cocktail game with a, a beverage, pairing with the, uh, the type of meal that you're having. Definitely gonna finish this one. Hope you enjoyed all of our reviews of these drinks. Be sure to leave us a comment below if you have any questions about any of the beverages. Hit the thumbs up if you found this video informative. And always, come take a trip with us.